Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your February 2021 tarot reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And let's get straight into your reading Aries and pull your overarching energy or message for the month. So what do we have for Aries please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for our lovely Aries, thank you. February 2021, that card flew out. Oh, Death. I mean, it's a card of Scorpio. It's the Phoenix Rising card. Uh, very, very interesting energy there, Aries. Very powerful as well. So what do we have for Aries, please? Angel Spirits Guides. What is the message Aries needs to hear the most for February 2021, please? Thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, you see in her hand, it's almost kind of like Metatron, you know, Archangel Metatron, symbol of creation. Um, it's if you believe. This is about creating something, a reality for yourself. Believing in your own power to create, manifest. It's really beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to put that card down there. And message for Aries, please, angels, spirits, guides. What is the message Aries needs to hear the most for February 2021, please? Message Aries needs to hear the most. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Very specific for some of you. This is financial health. I really like that visual, you know, because it's... You can see this, this tree has a lots of twists and turns. Um, it's not been a straight line. There's definitely been some ups and downs, some dips, you know, towards bringing growth and thriving and flourishing your way. But it definitely feels for some of you that it's coming. And it's interesting because this tree is on a cliff edge there's very little area for roots to be put down here and it's almost kind of like surviving in probably the worst conditions and yet there's growth. I mean it could well be to do with the pandemic as well for some of you as well you know some of you have been struggling that way that's what I'm feeling in the worst conditions and yet there is growth and financial health coming your way so it feels very beautiful there. Okay, so I'm going to pull four cards, roughly works out one card per week, can just overlap in terms of messages, divine timing and all that. And then we'll clarify, go deeper into the messages. We always do Aries and it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you. Thank you. Knight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles, Hanging Man, Page of Pentacles, <laughs> okay, Pentacles the predominate, predominating energy which is to do with money and career, okay, let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message for Aries please. Thank you, the Nine of Wands. Eight of Pentacles, we have the Six of Swords. Seven of Wands is clarifying the Hangman. And the Page of Pentacles, we have the Hierophant, absolutely beautiful. Bottom of the deck, oh my goodness, we've got the Star. <laughs> that is so beautiful. It's a powerful energy to finish off with as well with this star energy because it's the divine wish fulfillment energy. It is the blessing energy. It is the hope energy, you know, uh, very, very beautiful indeed. So I love this energy, Aries. It feels for some of you there is change on the cards. You may have experienced an ending here. It could have been in terms of finances, money, career. Um, but there's definitely this energy of this month will be the making of you. This month you are going to be emerging, shedding an old skin, uh, purging the past almost, 
getting rid of that which does not serve you anymore, past experiences, past baggage, and again rising in your light once more in all your colours. It's absolutely beautiful energy. It's the card of metamorphosis. So absolutely, absolutely showing people what you're made of, emerging from the old and embracing the new. Very, very beautiful energy and it's to do with financial health, which I see very favourably in the cards here. So I'm really pleased that the cards I'm getting is absolutely in line with this. The message is if you believe, and it goes with that death card and the financial health card, you have the power to create your reality. You have the power to create that which what you desire now. So there's definitely this energy of you need to believe that you are capable of that and don't allow anything else to focus or enter your mind. Because the nine of wands can be a little bit, a little bit draining, you know, is somebody who has work so hard, who has fought so hard, who has come so far, and they're one wand away from completion, uh, from getting to the end of their journey. And there's a message here, you're so close. And what are you so close? Well, you're so close to getting this Nine of Pentacles. What the Nine of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles wants to bring into you. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles is an offer, an opportunity, somebody making you an offer. Um, an opportunity, money coming your way, a contract, a client win, call it what you will. It's somebody coming in and bringing financial change, career change into your life in whatever context. So there's definitely change coming your way. Sometimes we have to be patient with the Knight of Pentacles. It can be a feeling of uh, being in stagnation before it actually appears. But the night is promising something is good is coming, something that is going to bring positive change to your financial and career situation and growth and stability and security. Maybe that's what you've been feeling that you've been lacking. The Eight of Pentacles with the Six of Swords. Change is afoot by the work, by the hard work that you've been doing to bring about this change. I mean, I love this energy here. You might have been learning a new skills, bettering yourself in terms of education, even learning a new skill or getting qualifications here that will um, make you more attractive, get you noticed more, you know, in the field that you're choosing now. Um, the Eight of Pentacles is a card of hard work can sometimes be, I mean, it's doing something that you're good at, something that you enjoy, but it's also an energy of repetitive tasks and the mundane as well. So it might have felt a little bit like Groundhog Day here, Aries, but it has brought change. It is bringing change to your situation. Um, whether you know it or not, you are detaching from troubled times, the ending of what this death represented, and in the process of emerging towards the new world, the new light, the new goal. Uh, you're not quite there yet with the Six of Swords, but you are going in the right direction and that's what you have to take hope in because this is a card of hope as well. Um, can be a card of healing, but it's also a card of transition, changes afoot. You are going in the right direction. These are Aquarian energies, which is definitely an energy of you're on the right path. Yeah, you might feel a bit challenged here. It might feel a bit overwhelming. I mean, this can also be about competing, getting ahead of the competition as well. So that might resonate for you. And the hanged man, it feels like, and again, there's this energy of, it feels like it's going on forever. You know, I'm, and it might well be for some of you, you've been competing for something and you're in that process of transition, but you're not quite at the end game yet there's still a bit of waiting here with the hanged man. And the hanged man is just an energy of the period it takes between the end and the new to arrive. It's that period of limbo in between, but it is aligning you, the hanged man is aligning you to where you need to go. Now, sometimes it can be about looking at something in a different way, uh, opening your mind to all possibilities, unconsidered opportunities. Um, 
you know, it can be an energy of if you've been, you know, if one field or one industry isn't recruiting at the moment, how do, how do you translate your, your skills experience or even your business? How do I add another kind of like range, which is more attractive? You know, it's that kind of energy at the moment. It's, it's really opening your mind to all possibilities, unconsidered options that you might not have seen had you not just been in this period of limbo. These, this is the gift, the hanged man, the enlightenment, the illumination that you get in the period of waiting that really sets you up for aligning to where you need to be in your destiny. So it's a really powerful energy. So yes, it is a challenge. Yes, things feel like, I mean, this is a card of persevere, keep going. Um, but it just means that things are taking shape. You are being aligned. You might need to open your mind to all possibilities here. Or it might just be that things are being aligned for you. Things are in the process of being aligned for you. And you just need to wait a little bit longer. Yeah, and you know, the Hierophant. And for me, this is an energy of have faith especially with the star card. I mean, you're absolutely being watched over here. The Hierophant is the representation of God, the divine, the universe on earth. Um, so it's definitely an energy of you are, you are being guided, you are being watched over, have faith, spiritual faith, you know, if you, for those of you who have spiritual faith, because for some of you, the opportunity is coming. You know, we have the Page of Pentacles, which is the beginnings of something new, the beginnings have changed. What you were waiting on with this Knight of Coins, it feels the beginnings of that is appearing for you now. Um, so very, very beautiful energy. I mean, the Page of Pentacles is the beginnings of abundance. It can manifest in terms of a career or financial opportunity coming your way. And the pages are the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change. Generally, it can be to do with messengers, communication, um, that kind of energy. But I love the energy of the peacock, which represents abundance here, Aries. So have faith, abundance is coming your way. And the Hierophant for me is also about a, a, a renewed sense what this what this opportunity is bringing into you is a renewed sense of stability and security and safety in your life so lovely energy of your being protected here and the star with this page of pentacles is a card of divine wish fulfillment that which you've been working towards the hope uh questioning if you're on the right path here um and for some of you, I feel that there is, I mean, sometimes, like I said, the hanged man can be opening your mind and looking at all possibilities or untapped connections even, you know, from the past people you might have worked with and so on and so forth. So it might well be for some of you, there's an element of this here as well that is just allowing you to bring the end result home. But nevertheless, this can also mean, like I said, just things being aligned for you and the need to just be patient, wait for things to play out because the opportunity is coming there. And it's the Divine Wish Fulfillment card here, the hope you were on the right path. It is the energy of a new renewal, a new growth as well. And this person, generally you see them sitting on water or walking on water. Uh, and it's to remind you to believe in miracles because you're being watched over. So definitely an energy of this will be the making of you this month, Aries. This is an energy of persevere, keep going, don't give up, don't let things get on top of you. Because you may well feel in some respects that things will get on top of you this month. And it is just finding that fire energy to just keep on going. The energy of the seven of wands, stand your ground, keep going. Because you are getting on higher ground than that which opposes you. Okay, so I love the energy here. I'm going to pull a final card. Final message for Aries, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> we have graceful transformation. Soften your heart and find your flow. You know, and when you're just in the zone, Aries, when you actually focus and stay focused and stay on track and don't deviate, you know, it's that kind of energy of, of stay with the end goal in sight and open your mind to all possibilities to achieve that end goal. It definitely feels for some of you that that divine wish fulfillment is coming your way. Love the energy.
I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you, Aries, and I will see you next time. Thank you.